Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Intel version of the Lenovo ThinkBook 16 Gen 7. To open this device, you have to undo nine Phillips head screws. The top and the middle ones are captive. Use a thin plastic tool to pop the upper corners and fully pry the back. Then, work your way around the sides and the front. The memory section is covered with a Mylar heat shield and you have to peel it. Our laptop has the base 45 watt hour battery model. You can also opt for the optional 71 watt hour unit. If you have to detach the battery, pull out the connector from the main board and undo the five Phillips head screws that secure the unit to the main body. The capacity is enough for around 10 hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Battery Saver mode in the Lenovo Vantage app. The Wi-Fi card is positioned above the memory slots. According to Lenovo, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. For storage upgrades, you get two M.2 slots compatible with 2242 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. There is a thermal pad below the pre-installed 2242 NVMe, but the pad position is suitable for longer NVMe drives, and that's why it barely makes any contact with the PCB. Luckily, this can be fixed within a second. The thermal system seems potent enough for a laptop that lacks dedicated graphics. It comprises one big fan, a pair of heat pipes, a pretty long top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.